gliding silently through the city streets. The BMW i3. Silently? Not quite. But these are not just randomly generated noises. This sound is the result of years of intricate development. We started this project in 2009, where we heard that there will be a new BMW brand founded. We didn't know what the car was going to look like, what type of vehicle it was going to be. All we knew is that we should produce sounds for this new brand. And this meant that we really started with an empty sheet of paper. The task was to create a completely new sound landscape from the clicking of the door locks to the dashboard sounds, right up to the actual driving noise. The challenge was to strike a perfect balance between a completely new vehicle concept and the customary premium standards associated with a fully-fledged BMW. Sound is, in principle, very, very subjective. And it is very much uh, capable of triggering emotions and triggering feelings and associations. And uh, this, of course, functions, uh, this, this works the same in vehicles. Uh, so let's take the example of the uh, seatbelt warning, because it is one of the sounds that is most heard in the car. Um, the seatbelt warning has a clear function. It should move people to put on their seatbelt. So this sound has to be friendly, but if it's all too friendly, then just nothing happens. The sound is played and nobody puts on their seatbelt. So, in order to get people to uh, put on their seatbelt, it has to be a bit convincing in order to do so, but in a friendly way. So, we also use the term um, friendly notice or a friendly reminder. But it's not only in the interior that you need to find the right sound for a new car. A car is composed from different uh, elements like a musical instrument. All these elements have to be fitted together to give an overall uh, impression which fits very well to the car. So for instance we have wind noises in a car, we have tire noises and all these we have to take into account to compose the final sound of the car. Customers really like the silent way of driving this car. Although some customers are aware that there might be a risk on the road driving this silent car, but if you look at current combustion engine cars, also they are very silent in, in the traffic. But uh, we know that there are uh, several uh, governmental bodies uh, in preparation for laws uh, for sound for the car. We are prepared for these laws. We have made, uh, composed a sound which uh, has a good warning sound level, but also being very silent, fitting very closely to the car. This is a problem the designers of the interior sound didn't have. Their top priority was transporting the joy of driving into a new era. BMW i sounds different and it sounds new because it is something new. The goals that we set for this brand are nevertheless uh, the same. The driver should feel at home and should feel comfortably in his new vehicle. I'm convinced that we realize this, that he sits in a real BMW.